The ultimate goal, they tell us, is peace between Afghanistan and the Taliban. That from the White House just minutes ago. But Press Secretary Sarah Sanders would not discuss any details about the strategy to make that happen. Today, the top U.S. commander in Afghanistan said a troop increase is underway already. He wouldn't say how many, but said they would mainly be used to train the Afghan military. Inside word to us is something around 4,000. We're not sure. Fox News has confirmed sending about 4,000 to Afghanistan now. Let's turn to Robert Young Pelton now, uh, author, filmmaker, journalist who spent time with the Taliban in Afghanistan. He's been to the country many times and met with the top U.S. commander of American and NATO troops. Also tagged along with an uh, Afghan counterterrorism unit. Good to see you, Robert. Hey, Shep, how you doing? What, 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 they, they don't even talk about uh, a, a military victory. What, what is this about? Well, I think it's better to look at Afghanistan like firefighting. You know, it, we're trying to put out these small uprisings or gatherings of uh, terrorist groups that rise up, spread. Uh, we had a lot of uh, FOBs, forward operating bases, and we had a lot of uh, people on the ground, but we pulled them out, so therefore we have more incursions and more violent attacks. So this is just changing the metrics so that we have more Afghan commandos on station and we have more trainers to support them. And, and to what end? That's a very good question. So uh, in the case of uh, President Trump, this is more of a legacy issue. You know, nobody wants to be known as the person that lost the war in Afghanistan. So each, each president has kicked it forward and uh, let the next president deal with it. Well, it. There has to be more to it than that. I mean, we, we can't just be fighting yeah. with no end game and just world without end. Well, we went there because uh, al-Qaeda, bin Laden, and, and his organization had safe haven, and the Taliban gave them safe haven. Uh, right now we have uh, around 20 terrorist groups that claim Afghanistan and Pakistan as safe havens. So our goal was to rid these spaces, these, these white spaces. Uh, and then in, along the way we decided that we wanted to uh, do some state building. So essentially we're fighting three wars in Afghanistan. We're fighting a counterterrorism war. Uh, we're fighting a stabilization war, which is called resolute support, and we're also fighting a political war, which is maintaining this centralized government uh, run by President Ghani. Wait, that's nation building. The president said we're not nation building. Uh, well, you can't fight a war and not nation build. I mean, the, the bottom line is that when you support Afghan commandos and you go into a village and you take out the Taliban, uh, you can't just walk away. The Afghan government is essentially bankrupt. It relies on foreign donors for its existence. Uh, there will be some diplomatic or political activities going on. I think he's just suppressing that. And keep in mind that we've always had a dissonance between our State Department activities and our military activities. If you remember, General McChrystal was actually fired uh, for that dissonance. So we have to synchronize these three wars into one positive outcome. Uh, what is the situation with the Afghan army? When we had more than 100,000 troops over there, there really wasn't one. What, what's the situation with it now? It's doing well. I mean, I, I've done missions with Afghan commandos and U.S. Special Forces, and you'd be very impressed. They're, they're good, solid troops. Uh, they need airlift. They need support. They need medevac, all those basic things. Afghanistan also has uh, urban counterterrorism units, which I read about in Recoil magazine this month. And these people are extremely efficient in going in and taking out terrorists, as we saw in the Kabul hospital attack. So, yes, I, I give full marks for the troops that we have trained. Now, they want to double the number of commandos as sort of a rapid reaction force. And once again, this is a very a good way to prosecute this war, sort of a rapid reaction force. Robert Young Pelton, live with us. Good to talk to you again. Thanks.